Anyways, welcome back to Dems MTB. Today we are here with Libby. This is part of her continuing training with uh, towards eventually towards riding with the mountain bike for now. Get her out, get her to see the trails, get her some familiarity with the trails. So we're just out for a little hike. And you're probably wondering, you know, you haven't seen many videos of me mountain biking and I do apologize for that. I uh, got dysfunctional rib or ribs on my back uh, about halfway up and uh, it's causing significant muscle pain and I want to do some riding next week so just gonna take it easy I do see the chiropractor again on Monday and uh, I know uh, she seems to be pretty good she helped it a lot so far and hopefully Monday will uh, be okay come on Libby come on pup so I am not reeling her under any strict training right now. I'm letting her do some roaming. I want her to know that, well, she knows when training time is training time. As simple as that. And she can and does walk directly beside me. She also does the sit, the lay down, the stay. Only one little thing she does. The stupid horse flies chasing me around. There's a squirrel moment for you. Is things she doesn't know or understand, she growls at. So, you know, it's uh, come on, let's. That's just totally new for her. Being across the bridge, of course, you know, no fear there. Yep, you got it, girls. Come on, come on, this way. Follow me. I want to try to keep her out of the ponds. These ponds are not the best of shapes. I don't want her to get sick from something in these ponds. So. Come on, you're okay, you're okay. See her, her tail was tucked there a little bit. She's unsure and she's scared, which is okay. Libby, Libby, watch me. Can you sit? Can you sit? That's a good girl. There you go, have a treat. Okay, come on, come on. You're good girls. Come on. Come on, Libby. Woo! Okay. We might have to stop soon and actually put some bug spray on. <laughs> Where are we 
Sorry, folks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Feel much better now I got some bug spray on me. Come on, Libs. We're gonna... Go up. There you go. Oh, look at that. Someone's put up some new signage on the tree over here. Oh, down to Cedar Trail, which is where we're gonna go down to. And up and then down. Obviously, you see which way is the Meadow Trail. Elgar Drive. This must be the, uh, the Valley Trails doing that. Cause our mountain bike signage is much more different. Roots Revival comes out. That's Roots Revival. And this is the new trail that they're, the extension, Roots Revival extension that they're building, right? So, there you go, good girls. Good girls. Um. Oh, you okay, babies? She, uh, her paw just fell through. She's still walking, not yelping, so thankfully no broken legs. But I haven't heard her complain much. I am going to see if we cross this bridge. Come, come. Atta girl. Huh. Well, now this is a long, slow climb up the Cedar Trail. Definitely dry enough to run, that's for sure. So up here is where the the Founders Trails intersect oh what's this morning on this oh spring thaw in fact there's founders we're not going to go up founders we're going to let it be come on but that's where it comes out So, right now with her stage training for the next three months, two and a half, three months, her stage of training is, and this is going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but you know what? It works if you know how to use it properly. Anyways, we have a prong collar on her. It's not sharp. It's rounded edges. And all people use it, abused it. Good girls, ladies. Good girls. Come on. That's a good girls. See, she's feeling insecure about the terrain. 
Come on, good girls. Not this way. Good girls. Fall trail. Anyways, use it not to cause pain, but just to apply pressure. Right? Um, when I go big on using it to apply pressure, but we're also big on positive reinforcement training. So as I apply pressure to it, I'm going to use treats as a distraction as well. Right? From whatever I don't want her to do. So, that's the way that works. It's just apply pressure. I don't yank on it. I don't, you know, it's not to punish her. That's not what we, it's not the type of dog we want. Or, or the way we want to be to the poor thing. So, then after after she's kind of past that stage, I'll put on with her electronic collar. Now our electronic collar has the bride brake on it, which is what we used to train with. Kind of to help distract her and then we use the positive reinforcement of come, sit, treat um, for distraction. So, now. Yeah. Every scenario is different, not everything's perfect, but we do the best we can 